Today I'm going to be reading some of my original poetry, particularly from two works. The first one is called the Stevenson Chronicles, and this particular physical copy I received a mere two days before um, moving into the Stevenson dorms, Casa Octavia, at uh, Stevenson College, UC Santa Cruz. Um, very ironically, saying banana slug for life. And the first words that I wrote in this, um, I moved in on January 31st, 2020. And the first words, that, the first three words that I wrote in this poem, excuse me, in this book, really sum up my experiences there. So this is the first written work in the Stevenson Chronicles, which is a book that I still write in. I wrote only a couple weeks ago in it, so it's, it's not just unique to Stevenson College at UC Santa Cruz, but it is it was born there, so I must give credence to that. Thriving First Light So that was the first written work in this book. Also during this time, I took a lot of inspiration from the Beatles. I would listen to many of their albums and workshop some words within their sounds. Particularly the song Girl on the album Rubber Soul. This next work is words supplanted in the cadence of, the, the, of that song. Um, if you're familiar with the song, you may, you may hear what I'm attempting to do, but of course it, it, it is, um, you know, very rudimentary. Um, did you ever wonder, excuse me, I'm gonna start again. Did you ever wonder slightly about my vision, if I'm going to be the one tonight? Did you ever question thoughts deemed to be too scary, wonder if they'll ever go away? Did you ever know my feelings I had towards you, looking up and down all the time? For one thing that I know would come out certain is the way I look at you tonight. That one can be fit in with the song in more of a, you know, structured way. This is another one on the, the meta of codifying our thoughts in, in written form. What pen I may use to write this verse shall forever be the ink of my thoughts enshrined in form eternate. My flowing mind caresses ideas of virtue, promise, and love with you, so effortlessly standing atop your throne. O oh, queen of thee, let me but a humble servant of scant honor be but just once in your warm presence. Let your hands rest on my hips, the mark of fluttering connection, so that we, a pair not seen by eyes of many, may be as one. From the loins of a humble servant to the pillars of your highness, my queen, let love and truth ring so free in the ears of all.
a collection of, of, of works in this, um, this book were written on the theme of moonlight and how when one person on earth looks at the moon, they're looking at the same moon as someone across the world. And it became a theme of togetherness, of solidarity, of there is no true division in humanity other than one sought to push some down and raise others up. I will not be reading any of those works today, but I did want to bring up uh, some of those sentiments. And, and opening this book at any at any time does remind that of uh, to, of of me. This next one I'm going to read was written at the beginning of quarantine when I had returned home and was obviously not at UC Santa Cruz anymore, physically. And so I sought to reframe my muses and my inspirations that I organically gathered from people there and, and things there. It is in rhyme, it is very, um, it's very childish work. Um, here I sit on my stone stool, thinking of ways I act the fool. Back at home of growth I do sit, entrenched with duty's borrowed pit. I think of thee not so much more, instead mind wanders of what's in store. For future now is what I seek, no longer wallow in fears run deep. And take the vision of sunrise hill, live presently in time, with none to kill. So you, my muse, our day is past. These words I write will be my last. You, I do thank for the journey I'm on, till whence we meet, that so, anon. This will conclude the reading from the Stevenson Chronicles, um, a brilliant little book that, that I was so fortunate to receive at such a wonderful changing of time in my life and is full of Stevenson um, inspired works, especially in the Stevenson Knoll. Uh, this, this book I have in front of me is a, it's actually an illustration book, just blank, blank pages. And it's great to write for stuff that I'm doing in more of the contemporary sense. I've been writing in it a few times um, in my current state. I've also been doing some drawings. And I would just like to read the inscription that I wrote at the, at the, in, the in the front cover. Uh, the first thing I see when, when I open it up is, um, is this. There are few things as enchanting as the beauty of the human mind in fullest creative swing. Let this book be the slightest net to capture the fluttering thoughts of this mind, inspired by and following the beauty of others. September 2021. Some of the concept work that I was doing was um, focused on t-shirt design. October 3rd, Lawn Outside CCS. Shall expression run free upon the borrowed minds of forlorn thought? Nay, more seek the hazards of tonal triumph. Let rest here. Upon the works to be expressed are ones of honest gaiety and truth. Here, this year, and every year, the whispering eye listens. This concludes the readings of the Gospel, according to Giles Coriander. I, I appreciate um, 
those of you that have, have stuck until the end here. And please uh, comment down below if you enjoyed this type of video. It's, it's a little bit different than my other ones. Um, I felt like with my voice and my newfound um, ownership, I felt like sharing, sharing some written works. Again, please comment down below if you enjoyed. Leave a like, um, but more importantly, comment because comments I, I can read barely. Thank you.